Alright, hi guys, it's me to King and MKLeo, and we're going to talk about Mario now in our next character guide. Mario comes from the game called Donkey Kong. Uh, you might not know that, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Everyone knows who Mario is. You, you can't live in this universe and not know who Mario is. Everyone knows who Mario Who's Mario, Mario Jason? I just know like Luigi, Peach, Dr. Mario. <laughs> is that the Mario you're talking about? <laughs> 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 Dr. Mario. I wasn't gonna laugh until you said Dr. Mario. Dude, shut up. Anyway, so that's the Mario you're talking about, shut right? Shut up! Dr. Mario? And the most important thing to mention is that he no exactly. longer Dr. can, Mario he no the, longer can do, grow big do, on his tongue! Dr. Mario is I want Mario doctor. to be big, but look, he just does this and Dr. this Mario's and this. No, I want this! actually on Smash, and this, uh, okay, you, sorry. Mario! Thank you so much for playing my game. Uh, Mario's a combo character. He's pretty much the same as Smash 4, except not easy mode. You can't down throw up to... Here, I'm going to down throw up to you. Look, before, you can just do this, and now it doesn't work. See? Uh, you can do down throw into down tilt. Oh, it doesn't work either. You basically have to grab him at like mid mid percent or mid low percent, and then you can just do like up airs and stuff into whatever custom combo. That's Dark Wizzy. Dark Wizzy knows all the specs. Basically, he's a combo character, but it's no longer down throw up tilt the character. Other than that, it's very similar. You still use fireballs to the same thing. Up smash has way less range. X has less range than Dr. Mario and Luigi's now. So the up smash is nerfed, the down throw up tilt's nerfed. Other than that, it's pretty similar to before. Like, this is all the same. This is the same. You can actually bear F tilt, a shield, before they can even shield grab you, because shield grabbing is so much worse. Uh, if you hit my shield, hit my shield with an attack. No, hit, let's do landing air. So you can up the shield, it's frame three. It's even two frames faster than Lucina. If they ever hit your shield, just up the shield. It's really, really good. Especially if tap jump on, because it's a bigger window. For combos, uh, you up air, and you up air again, 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 and you finish with an up yeah, you finish it for yeah, that. You finish it for downer and an up He's basically the same character as Smash 4, he just doesn't have a down train to up tilt. That was one of the best combo starter, but like, you can still do up to into down or into anything else if you have a platform. If you don't have a platform, you can just do you can just go for an up B or like fair. You still can extend the combo. It's basically the same character. Yeah, it's the same character. It's just no longer down for up tilt being free and and up smash hitting super far behind you for free. And other thing is the other noticeable changes. Up B still ridiculous and still broken of a recovery, but now it doesn't grab from the ledges quite the distance. But honestly, I don't think it matters that much. You can still just you're usually not going to get as guarded anyway. It, it doesn't actually make a difference at top level very often. So you can pretty much treat it very similarly. Yeah, it's basically the same old character you know. I think he's like still a very good character in this game. The only thing he lacks is range, but he's still quite good overall. And what, what he lacks in range, he makes up for with like... Could up be at a shield, a fireball approach, pa parrying into quick attacks. He still has a lot. Battlefield, he can actually do some zero to deaths. I don't know how to do them though. FD, it's probably less good because uh, he doesn't have the platforms to extend combos. Yeah, he's still a pretty solid character. He's definitely one of the better ones. Don't let people tell you he's bad. Or that was actually one point in time I thought he wasn't that good, but uh, then uh, I learned that he was. Okay, neutral. You shoot a fireball, or you do this and zigzag and shoot a fireball. It's somehow somehow you do a fireball. Yeah, like you <laughs> always not you always, always need but... to be looking for a fireball whenever he hits. You just go for the grab, even if it doesn't hit. You still have the the heat stun, so you can just go grab your opponent. Like basically, you're always looking for the grab, but like instead of just going for the random grab, you still need to throw the fireballs. That's two, gonna make it easier. Two other good options are running shield. It's not quite as good as last game, but it's still really, really, really good. Running shield's pretty good because even if you're wrong, it's like okay, just roll away or whatever, just reset. And uh, using the back airs, uh, like you can run up back air, or you can just jump in place back air or do this. You can also cross up back. Yeah, air. you can cross up and you go surprisingly far away when you do it. Um, Pretty much you want to use either the back airs or the running shield as other mix-ups to the fireball. Those are going to be some of your three common approaches. I see some people do like do this, run up down here, but uh, I think those are the top, the, one, the three I said are probably going to be the main three. Uh, also, if you have a f enough time to get a flood, you could uh, get, get flood and you can use this. So like if I hit him with flood, it doesn't do anything, but it pushes him really far away while you're running into me. So like, just get hit by it. It pushes them kind of far, and then you can just use that to get stage position. Uh, it, it's not as not quite fireball level, but it has its uses. Like if you're, if Krom's up being, and you can literally or just Ike. flood, and then he die. A Krom or Ike up B, so you can literally just flood and they die. It, uh, on their up it's like ridiculous. Yeah, it has a very specific niche uses. 
Yeah, I would say those are the th some of the three main things in neutral. He's, uh, like, to be honest, he's like a super basic character. He's a, a super good character for beginners. Like, if you don't know how to play the game and you like Mario, want to, like, be good the first day, you can just use Mario. And in case you like it, you can just stay with the character. Because, like, really easy. You just need to focus on something, get better at your combos. Obviously, the combos that we just said has, like, more extensions. That's why you need to ask, like, an expert, a Mario main. There are, like, a few Mario mains still that think the character is really good, and I personally think the character is really good. But, like, his combos are just amazing. You can't even do anything. You're just gonna get hit by the combo. The only yeah. way to beat Mario is to, like, play a, a really good character with a range. You have to space him With out. a really good range. But he has ways to beat that, especially if parrying. You just parry and then you, yeah, get, parrying, you get a free hit anyway. Parrying to grab, down to four smash. He has one of the best parries, because, like... His I mean, fast moves after it. Yeah. But, like, you, he can just parry into up smash. Even He's if you don't parry, be, if like, they're too close, you just up your shield. It does. Yep. It comes out in frame three. Does over 10 damage. It's really fireball and... Like Fireman, I mean, Thorman characters there. are always like super easy to combo. So even if you if you have a hard, a hard time getting into them, whenever you get into them, you're just gonna get a lot of damage. That's why you're always looking to go up to the platform, battlefield, down on city, smash ball. So you can extend the combos that are actually super basic. You just do up throw into upper, upper, upper. No, into, up throw down or at zero. I mean, at like a 20%. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, above, above that, you do that. Yeah. At zero, you do a downer. Yeah, Maybe downer, you, up, you can choose between. Like like landing in the platform, then continue, yes, like keep keep doing the combo, just go for the fair in case you want to reset the combo, or just go for another downer in case you want to do the same thing and get a lot of damage. You can also OP, but like if you miss, you're in a bad position. So you don't want to miss the OP. That's why Mario players don't go for OP a lot. Oh yeah, so super basic character. So literally, you don't need to do you don't need to learn anything besides his combo game. Uh, his only weakness, really, is that he lacks range. He and can't uh, approach to Fire Emblem characters sometimes. Uh, like, spe uh, like, especially uh, Mart and Lucina. Those are like the best characters versus Mario. They just destroy Mario, but like, even if they destroy Mario, Mario can just come with you into the like 80%. And like, you can't edge guard Mario besides those characters with a counter. But Mario can still edge guard you. Yeah, Mario's only real weak. Like, most things of Mario's would be considered a strength, so to make it easier, his only weakness really is range. If he had good range, it'd be ridiculous. Range and his KO power is not the greatest unless he c kills you with a combo. Like, he has ways to kill you at zero. You can use, like, the cape, you can just kill someone at zero, you can use the flood, get certain recoveries. You can combo people to death, you can do, like, double up air into forward air starting from, like, 30%. There's a lot of ways to combo into the kill. But if you're not actually, if you fail to get combos into the kills, that might be hard to finish them off at high percent, because then he has to get like smash attacks uh, uh, or back, air, back airs and stuff. So that would be considered one weakness. So the other weakness would probably be range. He lacks range compared to most characters. He relies a lot on like playing safe with this, being patient, and using the back air. The back air is like the most range that he has. So those would probably be considered two weakness. Everything else would be just the strength. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any I tricks for tricks, Mario. Dude, I, like don't if you, I don't know tricks, dude. Like if you want to, if you want to talk uh, here's about a Mario no, no, with no, a Mario one main, trick. there's one trick. You do that. Uh, Dark Wizzy does this a lot. You do the cape right here, and you get a fast ledge trump. It's so like, so go to ledge, grab, stay on the ledge, and he just does this. It's really easy. You just run off cape, and then you get a ledge trump bear. It's super easy. Like you just do it. Wait, wait, wait till you're in the air, and then you get a free bear. It can do it even faster than that. So he has a very good, uh, you, the moment you go, you dash off, the moment you go off stage, just press cape uh, toward the stage. Cape is side being case you're not. Yeah, and then you just, you get to ledge jump back at him right away. It's really, really easy and consistent. So that, that can be considered a trick. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. We don't know anything about the character. To be honest, I just think it's like a super basic character. I don't know any tricks. If you want to talk about Mario with a uh, Mario main. Yeah, just talk to Dark Wizzy. Yeah, just go talk to Dark Wizzy. Final Destination is considered to be a less good stage for Mario because Mario can always make great use of the platforms to like do up airs, land on the platforms, and continue the combos. And he can also keep you at some percent. Yeah, and FD, he doesn't get the platforms, so that's why he'd be considered worse than FD. Um, he seems strength, really good because he has a really good neutral game. Yeah, strength would be, he'd probably be good on tri plats. Like anything of platforms, where he extends it. Battlefield has more platforms, so Battlefield's considered very good. You can minimize it by just not DIing to the top platform. So if you're fighting Mario, just don't DI to the top middle platform because they'll always land on it. But uh, pretty much you always 
get to land on a platform in some stage, so. Well, most stages should be fine. Like, Kalos, probably second worst after FD. FD. Well, it's actually, there's another, another thing to mention. For stages, he actually gets to wall jump recovery when there's a wall. So all the stages with a wall, so even though Kalos might not be good for the middle of the stage, because it's kind of like a final destination, he gets to uh, wall jump off of the wall, which gives his recover, makes his recovery go much further. So having a wall to recover with and having platforms to combo off of, those are the two traits that Mario is looking for. Characters, if you want to beat Mario, if you don't want, like, if you get combo by Mario, you're still gonna get combo no matter what you do. So you just need to make sure you don't get a grab. So the best thing to avoid the grab is just to play uh, characters like Marv or Lucina, a character with range. It doesn't matter if you play Roy, Krom, Ike, you're gonna still do really good versus Mario. Like I already told you, you like you're not gonna be safe. If you get a grab, you're gonna get a lot of damage. And even more if you're in like in Battlefield, uh, Yoshi Story, Pokemon Stadium, you can also die. So you just need to make you just need to make sure you play a space character. Like no not space like Fox, Falcon, Wolf. I mean like a character with a sword. That's the, that's like the best way to beat Mario. Maybe with a projectile character like Link or something so like he that. He can just reflect it with the cape. Yeah, so you just need to make sure. And Mario has so much going for him. He can that's just what I'm saying, give a projectile, Link, he just capes it back at you. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep him at, at... You have to abuse the fact that he doesn't have range. Or uh, fast characters, actually. I don't know if Mario still... If Mario Man still thinks Sonic's a really bad match for Mario, but I'm but I'm, I'm thinking like he's still a really bad match. But if you want a counter, a counter pick for Mario, just choose a Fire Emblem character. And in case you don't feel like throwing, like if you feel like throwing items, just go for Link. Now we're gonna make Mario's attributes. I give Mario an S. I give Mario an S. Because he can actually, Same thing. he can kill combo you very easily. You can like double up air, forward air, on low ceiling sometimes. You can up, kill him with up B at the top. There's, there, are time, there are ways he can kill you with up B at the top on like battlefield platforms. There's ways he can just double up air, spike you from like 30% on like every character at the edge in certain situations. He can literally just kill combo you. And when he's not kill comboing you, he's just doing lots of damage just by up airing. And you just any custom combo is really easy and obvious. That's one of his strengths. Same reasons. <laughs> edge guarding. I'm going to continue giving him an S. He just has a lot of ways you can edge guard someone. I think it's S tier level. I think the same way as Jason. I just don't think that's really that's like amazing like Jason thinks. So I'm just going to give it a A plus. And the next so. stop's neutral game. Just yeah, I think it's A. Yeah, we think it's an A just because we already said it's they're average, in a neutral game. You can, like, his weakness is he, just, he can't touch you whenever you're spacing really well. That's pretty much everything. But, like, even if he can't touch you, you can, he can still throw fireballs, and if he gets regab, he gets a lot of damage. And let's say, even if he does a running shield and you, like, space an area or whatever, well, you can just roll away. And if you're not hard reading it, then it hits you. And if you try to hard read it, he can just do anything else and hit you. It's like, you just be patient, and your neutral is amazing. It might even be better than it. You can also parry, you just up the out of shield, and you get, you get, you're gonna still get some damage. Heal power? Same, I yeah. say with the A, just because we already told, we already said everything. It could vary He's, from like B to S, depending yeah. if you kill combo them. He doesn't, he doesn't have like any super strong moves like any other characters, but the fact that he can just kill you with a combo out of the top of the platform, will like just double up you in spike at the ledge, he makes it like super strong. Movement. We stay with the A yeah. just for the same reasons. You have like a really good movement, you just lack of range. And, that's pretty and much everything. running speeds is not amazing. It's not amazing. That's everything why, else is amazing. That's why small body moves around. faster characters than, than Mario is just gonna beat Mario. But uh, you can still throw fireballs. Like you have a very good air movement, ground movement, and you can just run up, grab, run up shield, or spot dodge. I think he's borderline higher top tier. I think as the meta evolves, he'll be he'll become top tier though. But uh, right now he's borderline high and top. If I had to pick one, I'd say bottom of top probably as the meta is. I say basic, super good, but at the same time not amazing. He's just a uh, like a normal character. You're gonna be able to win some tournaments. You're gonna be able to bait some people, but like at the end, it's not a character that can win tournaments. He's just super basic, and that makes Mario really good. But if you know his weaknesses, and if you take advantage of it, he's not gonna be able to do much. I think it's, I think Mars is slightly better than what he's saying. Similar to what he's saying, but I, I, I have a higher opinion. Let's go. Okay, thanks for watching. It's a me, Mario. It's a me, Mario. It's actually a meme. Uh, 
So in case you like the video, just subscribe, just click the bell. In case you would like to see any other characters, you let us know in the comments. And uh, press F if you want to see Jason in a Mario cosplay. See you guys around.